Back in 2002, then high school five-star recruit Chris Paul signed his letter of intent to play college basketball at Wake Forest University in the state of North Carolina. But the very next day, he received a call that would change his life forever. Paul's grandfather, Nathaniel Jones, also known as Papa, was robbed and assaulted at the service station that he owned. He suffered a heart attack and died at the scene. Chris Paul, in his first game for Wake Forest, would go on to score 61 points, the same age as his grandfather Nathaniel was when he passed away. Paul dedicated the performance to him. And now, after 18 seasons in the NBA, the future Hall of Famer is out with his new book about his career and the impact his grandfather had on him. It's titled 61. Life Lessons from Papa on and off the court. And we're so happy to say that Chris Paul joins us now. Chris, great to meet you. Thanks for being here. Congrats on the book. You too. Thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. So let, let's just let's talk about what obviously a very, very tough day. What was that moment like for you when you got the call, when you learned your grandfather, who was so important to you, um, had died in such a terrible fashion? Yeah, it was tough. Uh, I lost his wife, my grandmother, when I was seven years old, a lung cancer. And uh, my granddad was my best friend. Right, so at 17, learning uh, how he had passed away and died, uh, it was tough. It was tough for me and my family. And 61, I mean, it's almost sort of almost like a magical thing. That was his age, and that's the number of points you scored. What was that game like for you? The game was intense, right? I'm 38 now. I was 17 at the time. Uh, my career high up to that point was 34, right? So I went into this game with this heavy heart. And to have 59 points and to hit a floater and get fouled, I had 61. So I walked to the free throw line and I just threw the ball out of bounds, right? And I go over and I hug my parents and um, never knowing that one day I would get a chance to play in the NBA and have all of these different life lessons. But everything that my grandfather taught me for those 17 years, I sort of discussed through the book. Yeah, so let, let's let's turn to that. Let's tell us a little bit about um, some of those lessons that your grandfather imparted to you and you're trying to share now in the book. Yeah, so my grandfather had the first black-owned service station in North Carolina, right? So I'm from the South, and I grew up going to my granddad's service station all the time working. So I was changing tires, checking oil, and all this stuff. And my granddad just always showed me to work, right? So even if he had the money, me and my brother needed shoes or whatnot, he wouldn't just give us the money. You know, Papa, I'd be like, if you, if you want these shoes, you're going to come over here and work. So it sort of translated to my entire career and just doing the work, right, and uh, just not taking anything for granted. So let's talk about that work ethic because it would seem that that's so key to longevity. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that players' careers, they didn't last 18 years. Now there are a handful that do. You, For you, it did. You're still playing at a high level. Is that Was that lesson from your grandfather partially fueled that drive to keep working at it year after year after year? No question. My grandfather always stressed the importance of family, you know, and loving what you do. Uh, and I'll be going into my 19th season next year, and I'm so grateful for that. There's a gratitude that comes with that. But I also get a chance to, you know, look at my hand. My grandfather's hands was just always just covered in oil and grease. We could be going to a nice restaurant to eat, and you just look at his hands, and you like, you know he does something that requires working with your hands. And for me, I've had four hand surgeries <laughs> over my career. So it's, it's crazy how, you know, it all ties together. So heading into your 19th season, it's a little bit unclear where you're going to be playing. Uh, we found out this report you were traded this week. The Phoenix disagreement reached between the Phoenix Suns, where you were, uh, sending you to, to Washington as part of a trade. Uh, and you told the New York Times interview this week that you learned about the trade via text message from your son. That's right? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, headed here to do everything for uh, my book release, and that's how I found out. But uh, I have a 14-year-old son, a 10-year-old daughter. Uh, I've been in this league a long time, so you realize that things happen the way you find things. It just, it is what it is, so, yep. And then, I mean, what's your response? I mean, I know the Phoenix team, you guys were in the finals a couple years ago. You are close to a title. You've got Kevin Durant. You've got Devin Booker. New owner there, Matt Ishbia. Isaiah Thomas playing a role, too. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, it's a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> you know. I mean, uh, new owner, Matt, and everything is, that's going on with the team. Uh, I had a chance to talk to Book a couple days ago. I'm so grateful for the time that I spent in Phoenix. You know, the last three years have been a amazing as far as me, uh, my family, and organization. And just tell us, what do you think happens next? Are you talking to the Wizards about playing that team? Or are you looking for them to move you, buy out? What do you think? That's a good question. I don't know what's going on yet because nothing's official. 
you know, uh, there's got to be trade calls, all this stuff that has to take place. So right now, I've just been here trying to figure this out before I go back. It takes a few days to finalize. You're right. NBA draft, of course, also tomorrow. That plays a role, perhaps. But most importantly, congratulations on the new book. And we're so glad you're here. It is called 61 Life Lessons from Papa on and off the court. Chris Paul, thank you very much. That book is out now. Thank you.